awakening the infinite self. The infinite self can also be called the divine self, the inner self, the eternal self, the true self, or the inner master. Awakening to the infinite self is the path of leaving behind the illusions of separation and identification with the body, mind, and emotions for true knowledge of our, our oneness with the divine. To awaken to the infinite self is to know the divine truth of God's source or infinite creator. It is to be self-realized and enlightened. We are eternal, infinite, boundless, pure consciousness or spirit. It is difficult to explain this state of being in words. One has to experience it to understand it. Meditating or being out in nature can help to facilitate this process. Seek happiness within. When we identify with the body, mind, and or emotions, we seek happiness through indulging these outer senses of self. We may focus our life on trying to keep our body young, gratifying our bodily senses, stimulating our minds, and working through our emotions. Sooner or later, there comes a point for many of us, when we find ourselves facing our underlying feelings of being unsatisfied with life and longing for something more. The journey to awakening begins when we realize that seeking happiness in the outer world and ego satisfaction does not produce lasting results. Instead, we must look deeply within to the infinite self for everlasting happiness. Glimpses of the infinite self Many of us have had moments of experiencing the nature of the infinite self even if we are not yet fully awakened. The feelings of joy, peace, unconditional love, oneness with all, and mental clarity characterize such moments. For some of us, this comes through meditating, being out in nature, painting, writing, goal setting, or doing any activities that we, that we enjoy. These moments of spiritual awareness or awakening to the infinite self are often remembered as peak moments in our lives. Quotes about the infinite self. You are the consciousness that illuminates the world. Know yourself as that. That's what life wants with you. Eckhart Tolle. The self, smaller than the smallest, greater than the greatest, this self forever dwells in the hearts of all. A person freed from desire, with mind and senses purified, beholds the glory of the self and is without sorrow. Kata Upanishad I am the boundless ocean, this way and that, the wind blowing where it will, drives the ship of the world. But I am not shaken, I am the unbounded deep in whom the waves of all the worlds naturally rise and fall. But I do not rise or fall. I am the infinite deep in whom all the worlds appear to rise beyond all form forever still, even so am I. Ashtavakra Gita